Welcome back to Undertale, the no, Mer the, the no mercy run. I bit my tongue earlier, so it's a little swollen. Um, so here we are, about to uh, traverse down through the uh, snow area, back or make our way back to Snowden after we deal with Sands and Papyrus and their goofy puzzles. So as I was saying about Undyne. Yeah, it's happening. Hilarious. Sand, oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh, hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god, Sand, I finally did it. Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so popular, popular, popular. Ahem. <clears throat> Here, man, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will, cap I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue if, o if only if you dare. I can't read. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I keep an eye socket out for you. Okay. So, you're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, -ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sons, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Here we go again with this nonsense. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Nehehehe. <laughs> Sand, where's the puzzle? It's right there on the ground. Trust me. There's no way they can get past this one. Sand, that didn't do anything. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easy is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Here, man, solve this dispute. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. Nehehehe. <laughs> Cute. Moving on, for the sake of moving on. Ooh! Pant, pant. Ow. Bye-bye. I'm taking everybody out. Already solved the puzzle, so it's all good. Oh, now I gotta deal with these two. I remember how stupid this was in the pacifist run. Alright, fine. 
Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Ow. Bye bye. I feel like there's no. I don't know the way out of that fight, but okay. Yeah, I don't know the, the right way out of that. It's fine. We still won. Too easy. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Really? Wow, we. You resisted the flavor of my home cooked pasta, so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to move, improve this puzzle. Yeah. Okay, my voice hurts doing that. I'm just gonna play it this out normally. Okay, let me go heal real quick then. Oh, I gotta redo it. Hey, it's a human! You're gonna love this puzzle! Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through it if you like, but... If you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. However, what's that? Understand? Yep. Good, and there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Alright, what you got for me? Oh, my tongue hurts. Huh. Interesting. Maybe he just dances away. Interesting. Is that Metaton? The machine isn't working. That's Metaton right there. Yeah, okay, I got it. I think I did it differently than the last time. I'm not too sure. Either way, the result's the same. I made it. So that slide on through. Huh. A little snow cap. I get it. What a tiny doghouse. It is a tiny doghouse. 
Oh, I remember this guy. <laughs> Starts off innocent and cute, but then, yeah. Body of a god. Alright. Wow, I hit hard. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I moved. I wasn't supposed to move. That's right. It doesn't matter. I still won. Bye-bye, sir. Alrighty. Next. Uh, I gotta do a papyrus and stands one more time. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna voice act it. My my tongue hurts. This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror and the dog. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Okay. And, well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expert expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Anyway, it goes. Oh, wait, it goes. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Nah. Heh. Heh. Right. Okay, sir. <laughs> Moving on. Welcome to Snowed Inn. Alright, time to save. Alright, moving on. Now let's go deal with Papyrus. Yeah, I'm going straight for him. Going for the throat. That is a nice house, though. Alright. Gotta put, gotta put Papyrus on a t-shirt. How unfortunate, but he's got to go. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lost friends having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my long, my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Bring it on, sir. So you're serious? Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. I can handle it very well, sir. Oh shit, I wasn't... I wasn't ready. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> That's fine. I like the pacifist run. I have a lot more health this time around. Oh. 
Thank you. Yeah, I know how this works, sir. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Woo! About to put this man on a t-shirt. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh, that. Ow. Oh my god, that came out of nowhere. I ain't gonna lie. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. I'm not gonna make it. Okay, never mind. I'm doing horrible. But I'm still winning. My timing on that is just bad. Undyne will be really proud of me. It's so almost over. The king will trim my hedge in the shape of my smile. Probably not. Oh my god. Probably not, sir. Behold my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. You do that, sir. Sai, here's an absolutely normal attack. Okay. Okay. Ow. Oh, I'm almost dead. Uh, okay. Well, I... It's clear you can't huff. Defeat me, yeah. I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, would like to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now here's your chance to accept my mercy. Sorry. But you better go, sir. Alas, poor Papyrus. Well, at least I still have my head. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, now we are on our way to Waterfall, correct? Is that the um, name of the next area? I'm pretty sure it's called Waterfall. Waterfall. I was right. Um, don't need anything right now. Go behind here. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yes. Take the tutu. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I could put it on. All right, now we're in the old tutu. Let's go. Oh boy. Now there's no papyrus to talk to her, so. Now she's just. Now Undyne is just menacing, that's all.
That's still creepy. I ain't gonna lie. It's this little guy. This guy is funny. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That that was awesome. I'm so jealous. She was just standing there waiting forever and then just come on, let's go watch her beast up some bad guys. Okay. I could traverse a little far on this one. To kind of put myself in a good spot to stop. Yeah, we've made a little bit of progress. Yep. Whew, I'm sweating. Ugh. Ugh. Ow. Ew, he got sweat on me. And now he's gone. This way? That's like a sque uh, squeaky toy when you pick it up. Hilarious. Alright. Your soul is unclean. Ow. Ow. Bye bye. Woo. <sighs> Another close call, just like last time. She does quite a bit of damage. <laughs> she picks up that goofball. Then walks away. Yep. Bye bye, Undyne. Yeah, then this guy talks about not washing his face, which is still weird. Yeah, she she touched you, dude. Sure, I guess so. You can see her again. I'm not. I'm good, yeah. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Yes. Thank you. Sure. Oh, now we got the ballet shoes and the tutu. Let's go. I feel invincible. Let me stop. Um, I go this way, right? Right, right, right. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past them homebound. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That seemed weird about that, huh? Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Yeah, you have an Undyne fetish. A little unhealthy, sir. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of the flower. The king had to call him Mr. Dremor, volunteer to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She would beat up all the teachers. Or maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. That is nice though.
All right, that's enough for the scenic. Let's go. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. All right. Yes. All right, thank you. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Child. Okay. Yep. But yeah, if you liked the video, so like the video, give it. If you liked the video, give it a like, comment down below, any thoughts you have. Subscribe if you haven't already. And when we come back, we will continue the No Mercy run. And I'm not wearing my... Bracing it. I really need to continue wearing it. I'm just... Being ignorant to it. But uh, yeah. I'll see you all next time. Bye.